Hey y'all, this Battle Means by Omari, back at you with another video. Now there's a certain argument that I cannot stand that these fanboys keep using to say that Super is better than GT. And that's the fact that Super gives other characters, quote unquote, more spotlight than GT did. And it's not all about Goku. Only a child and somebody that doesn't know anything about storytelling and character development would use such a ridiculous argument. Now Toriyama said in an early interview about Dragon Ball Super that he used the characters in their primes for a reason so that they can have a part in Dragon Ball Super where they can have some kind of spotlight, you know, to where it would kind of make sense for them to be more involved in the events that were going on. You know, so he can pretty much give everyone their fan service with the characters that they like from Dragon Ball Z. Then you have Dragon Ball GT, which takes place years, years later after Majin Buu, where everybody's pretty much civilized and older. They have their personal lives going on. They have other things going on rather than needing to save the planet. You know, basically everyone's civilized. Krillin is pushing 70. So no, he's not going to have beam struggles with Super Saiyan 4, Goku. It's not going to happen. No Android 17 is not going to be above Majin Buu because he has a normal life. He has a 9 to 5 job. He's basically a ranger as seen at the end of Dragon Ball Z. But in Dragon Ball Super, it makes total sense that he was able to give Super Saiyan Blue Goku a challenge, right? <sighs> Kids, man. Trunks and Goten living normal lives like normal young adults do i mean there weren't total pushovers they did have shine i mean goten could definitely handle himself and the entire first arc revolved around trunks and pan and goku <laughs> i mean you're trying to tell me trunks and pan didn't have shine in the first arc because you didn't watch it and speaking of pan i guess people are mad that she didn't go super saiyan so she didn't get enough shine because she wasn't a super saiyan what? And I guess Master Roshi, somebody who's been outclassed since the end of Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, should have helped with Android 17 and Omega Shenron because, you know, that would have made total sense, seeing as how he's never helped in Dragon Ball Z. But no, let's put him in a tournament of power arc over two Super Saiyan kids, Goten and Trunks, that can use fusion just to give Master Roshi some quote-unquote shine. Yeah, that makes total sense. Vegeta. Is he as strong as he could have been in Dragon Ball GT? No. But after the character development at the end of the Majin Buu saga, which GT stuck to, that major character development where he admit Go admitted Goku was number one and wanted to just get stronger for himself, they stuck to that. Super threw it completely out the window. Why? To give him, quote unquote, some more shine. Let's just throw that character development away. Let's put Vegeta back on this Kakarato, Kakarato bullshit. Just so he can get some shine and be tiptoeing right behind Goku like he used to do back in the Android Saga. Before Vegeta even met Goku, his whole MO was not getting stronger, getting stronger, getting stronger. Goku brought that out of him because of the rivalry. But you know one person that doesn't need a rivalry to, get, to stay motivated to get stronger? Goku. He doesn't need that. He genuinely wants to get stronger just to get stronger. That's just how he is. That's his passion. So yes, in GT, he is going to tower over everybody because it makes sense. Any one of his allies in GT being on his level would not have made any sense at all because Goku is Goku and always has been Goku. I want to get stronger, I want to fight strong guys. That's it, I really don't care about anything else. Although GT Goku does show care for a lot of other things other than that. Because I mean in GT, he almost at his peak, he's strong as shit. That's why you don't really see him needing to get stronger in GT. He doesn't tackle it as hard as he did back then. Because the guy is older, he's more matured, and he's... he's so damn powerful that he's there yes he still wants to test his limits and fight strong guys but you know the need isn't there as it was before because he's he's powerful as shit so come on like 
That's what the blue and gold stood for. Goku at his top. Goku being a master. That's why his clothes are blue and gold. That's the symbolism of it. So when you try to say super is better because it gave more characters shine, that makes no sense because GT kept things in perspective, unlike Dragon Ball Super, which threw scaling completely out the window to give other characters quote unquote shine. Only kids think like that. No rational adult that grew up with Ball, Z, and GT would make such a ridiculous argument. This is why I'm telling you, I'm not debating y'all kids, man. Y'all have the most ridiculous arguments. Y'all bring that bullshit to the table. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments section. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright.